Welcome back, this is Jack. At the end of Elden Ring, <coughs> we find out that Queen Merica is Radigan. It has been implied that they've always been one and the same, but did separate at one point. Something doesn't sit right with me about that. It is implied that they had always been one and the same person and had separated at some point. It is suggested by that it was when you go into the final fight, you see them as one person, just switching between them um, between cutscenes. But there's also that statue that when you use the proper spell says Radigan as Merica or Queen Merica as Radigan. But something doesn't sit right with me about that. To be honest, all that says is that they are the same person, but not that they've always been the same person and then split at some point previously. This has been the generally accepted idea from what I've seen. The only direct evidence that I have that suggests that Radigan has always been a separate person until the events of the Shattering is the weapon, the giant's red braid. It says, every giant is red of hair and Radigan was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps that was the curse of their kind. This implies while he was leading the Golden Order and married to Renalia, he was a giant. And then when he married Queen Merica and became the second Elden Lord, he may have also been a giant. Now for the reason of him fusing with her, might have been because he wanted the either just wanted the power to have power or he wanted to have the power to refuse the Elden Ring back together. And he probably needed the power of Queen Merica to succeed in refusing the ring. Of note, the Elden Ring was the tether to the lands between and the greater will, aka the Elden Beast. Radigan was effectively the grand paladin of the Golden Order, someone who was more about combat and enforcing their will on the people. Whereas Queen Merica was effectively like a head cleric of the Golden Order or the Greater Will, somebody who was inspiring and faithful and was more about healing and gathering. Now, Queen Merica was the one who shattered it. Of note, Merica's hammer has this description. The tool with which Queen Merica shattered the Elden Ring and Radigan attempted to repair it. Not sure why, but this feels like kind of forced himself onto her kind of statement. Something George R. R. Martin has no problem putting in stories. Looking at you, Game of Thrones. This is all speculation and I have very little evidence to go behind this speculation. Unlike some of my other theory videos where I'm able to look at, very, I have several pieces that I stick together to show you what I'm talking about. This is just more of an instinct and a feeling I have that they have not always been the same person, but the Queen Merica slash Radigan we see at the end is the event of Radigan after the Shattering going, nope, I need your power, I'm making us the same person. Or the effect of him trying to refuse the Elden Ring did that, one or the other. If you agree, I'd appreciate you leaving a comment. If you disagree, I'd appreciate you leaving a comment. If you think I should stop wearing glasses and switch the con contacts, also leave a comment. And if you like these videos, there is that subscribe button down below so you'll be notified when I release a new video. But most importantly, I'll see y'all in the next one, all right?